Hello, everyone. Meteorologist Hunter Binstock here with your Monday afternoon one minute forecast. We're going to start this off with a look at our satellite radar. I had one cell pop up there just west of Jamestown. Nothing super significant, just a couple quick lightning strikes moved its way out east and dissipated. Mostly clear skies out towards west, maybe a couple clouds to the northwest. Temperatures this afternoon in those 70s, 80s, even a couple of 90s. 89 for Headinger, 90 for the capital city. Those highs for tomorrow are going to be slightly cooler than they were today. You should see those 70s across the north and more widespread 80s for tomorrow. 10 day temperature trends have us holding into those 80s for a couple more days then we get into Friday and Saturday after a mature system makes its way through the state and to cool those temperatures off by Saturday where we'll level out into those 70s for the start of next week. Your wind speed and direction is primarily to the northwest right now, anywhere from those low teens into the low 20s for those sustained winds, and we have some gusts this afternoon in those low 20s. Nothing that's going to be overly strong, but definitely something that's going to be noticeable this afternoon. And if we look at our SPC outlook for today, mostly clear out towards the western portions of the state. Out towards eastern North Dakota, though, we get into that level 1 marginal into the level 2 slight, where we do have those risks to potentially see some increased hail sizes up to golf ball size, 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, and in those level 2 Two slight areas there is also a bit of a tornado risk out towards the Fargo Grand Forks area. So if we look at our precision cast here, it looks relatively clear this afternoon. It's going to stay clear into the later hours of this evening. And then in early morning hours, late evening hours, early morning hours, we should see some rain showers develop across the south central, but nothing that's going to produce a lot in the way of rain. Make sure you tune in to KX News at 4 because I'm going over our rain chances for the rest of the week in my full forecast.